So I told him we'd be there at 10, but we're gonna get there later because I hate the guy. Oh, oh, oh hey. Oh, hey. Hey. What oh, you... I didn't see you guys there. How you doing, Nostalgia Heads? We are the Retro Rescuers. I'm sure a lot of you already know that, and if it's the first time you are watching, then welcome. And we're going op shopping today, like we do pretty much every day. Yeah. So come along, hurry up, we're a bit late. I don't want to keep Brad waiting. Today's op shopping adventure starts at Savus, and we've actually never been to this Savus before. No, it's a brand new one, and Brad, aka the Diary of a Flipper, has actually told us about this one. Come on, buddy. Oh, doing my pants up. And in typical Brad fashion, he's rocked up with a whole bunch of gifts for us. He always does this, um, and I feel horrible because I actually organised a trade with him. And I couldn't find the and toy that I was going to swap in. It's him. my fault. I've it's lost Aaron's it. I've put it somewhere special and the special place is a black hole. Yeah, a black hole of disappearance. And I promise Brad we will find that thing and swap it over for you. But thanks for the gifts anyway. We really appreciate it, my man. A different pair. I've got a few of these now, yeah. Okay. But, I love uh, them. Oh, yeah, these are awesome. Like oh, I don't know about you. that. This is sick. What's he, a, a speedboat? There's yeah. a speedboat on that one. Got cool. all over, mate. And then these are errands. Cute. You'll have to wipe your bum properly in that because <laughs> they'll show up on the back there. Wet wipes. Aaron's got a poo problem. <laughs> all right, enough gifting. Time for some thrifting, and I'm straight into the t-shirts as normal. Oh, hello. I haven't found too many interesting things. A couple of okay ones. Got the Gears of War 2. That might look good on you, actually. Nice. Um, what else did I find? This oldish, early 2000s Wolverine tee. I just like that it's on a purple. You don't really ever see that. And the graphic doesn't look too bad. Ball. Um, and a band I'm not necessarily that into, but really nice print on that, I thought. So I'll grab that. And I don't know whether we'll take this home, but John Williamson. Stop dangy now, eh? Does anyone else remember that commercial? No, nah, just me? Okay. And what have you found? Anything? Dirty rotten bombers. Boo. 15 bucks. And have a look down here, there's a fight on before the match. Extraordinary scenes of the MCG. I'll grab that because yeah. I haven't got nothing yet. So You got nothing, that's it? Got nothing, and I mean there's a dirty rotten hawk there too, but that's just Kmart shit, so that'll yeah. stay there. Britney Spears, a keep kick and keepsake scrapbook. Two of them. So I'm moseying around here in Savers and make my way over to the toys, one of the retro rescuers staples in our little adventures. And I actually managed to find a vintage toy. Well, half of one anyway. Something very interesting right here. This is a 1999 Mario Kart figurine. And I believe this is Wario's cart. This little purple one. Sadly, I can't seem to find Wario anywhere. You haven't seen him popping around, have you? No. I, I, I don't think I've ever, in the time we've been op shopping and thrifting and all that sort of stuff, I don't think I've ever found one with the actual character. <laughs> it's always just the cart, so no idea what's going on there. So hopefully one day we will actually find one of these complete, because I'd love one in the collection. I think they're just really cool. Even though it's just the cart, these are actually really sought after. And for $3, Savers, I'm gonna take it. Thank you, Savers. Yeah. Wow. I'm not that much of a drinker, you know? I'm not a big drinker. Oh, yeah. I said no, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> But I don't mind a cheeky old. Uh, oh, that's a cool trade. one. These are pretty cool. So five bucks each. I can't leave them there. Yeah, they're nice. So I don't mind a bit of man cave stuff. Yeah. I wasn't too sure if we were going to find anything else in here, and then Erin walks over with an absolute monstrosity by the name of Sally. Now I, I can't stand when Erin finds really big items because I just get terrified about posting them. I just um, I don't think about that too much. I think about how cool she is. How cool whatever item it is. Yeah. I don't care how big it is. We'll deal with that when the time comes, you know? It's gonna make someone happy. Someone's gonna want it. 
Okay, I hope so. Is it? Sally from, from um, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas. How cool is it? And it's covered in dog hair, which is amazing. I actually didn't realise how old this movie is. Yeah, it's early 90s. Early 90s. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the story behind Nightmare Before Christmas is they made it, it cost crazy amounts of money to make, and when they released it at the cinema, I don't think it was a big success. I don't think many people actually went and watched it. And it wasn't until later on when it came to home video and parents could buy it for their children and stuff, that's when the popularity of it sort of really skyrocketed and took off. Prepare to experience an exciting adventure in movie making and discover the astonishing new world of the nightmare before Christmas. Coming to theatres everywhere from Touchstone Pictures. Okay, wrapping it up here in Sabres. We had a good time, found some goodies, found a monstrosity. I'm not saying it's a bad item. I think it was a good price for what you paid, but I just, I can't see us shipping that thing for under 50 bucks, easy. I think you can make it smaller than what you think, like folder in half, yeah. trucker in a bag. Yeah, I guess so. I oh, think well. someone's gonna want it and they'll pay. You're responsible for selling Sally. Okay. Not me. All right, I'll sell Sally. We are going to head to a few more op shops just to see if we can find any more goodies for the day. Yeah, we don't mind these ones. A couple of little locals in our area. We'll go check them out, see how we go. Just destroying everything. Oh. Found a couple of good, oh, decent VHS tapes over here. Adventures in Odyssey. We've got one, two, three, and four. Brad saw these before and said, oh, garbage, but I don't think they're garbage. I think they're all right. So, sucked in, Bradley. I'm taking these. Not finding too much in here, just a couple of videotapes, but what I did find was a whole bunch of information about AFL stats that I didn't ask for. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Shane O'Brien is a right. He, uh, what do you mean, uh, Anzac Day medal? Matthew Loken and... Is that Tristan Walker? They didn't do much. Oh, Brad. I don't know anything about ducks. What do you reckon? That's huge. It's a big That's and it's what heavy. I reckon. Look, I'm going to take a chance on these. Whenever I see them, I always just pass over them. But today I'm going to take this one home. I think it's good. He's really nice and he's yeah, big. Yeah, hand carved, Beautiful. hand painted. Pretty yeah. good. Beautiful. This is kind of cool. It's a single bed cover. Snoopy Safari print. It's like a, an 80s one, I guess. 1980. Oh, cool. Whatever. Oh, heartbreak every time I come over to the CDs. I think you're finding some PlayStation Gold and like, look at that, Ace Combat 2, that would have been glorious. But, burnt, pirated, garbage. Same with this Mission Impossible, burnt, look at that. Look at that. Remember when the CDs used to be blue? <laughs> I'm blue. Yeah. After Abadee. finding that, have a D, have a die. The good thing about finding these burnt games is that it's given me an itch to actually go hunt down some genuine retro video games. So we're going to head over to our favourite retro video game store, Starboard Games. Um, it's a little bit of a trip and thankfully it's worth it. <laughs> Hurry up, what are you doing? No, get rid of me. No, he's Follow still coming. Just keep coming back. I thought we gave him the wrong address. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of really good stock in this shop and I love the staff here. Super friendly, super knowledgeable and always willing to make a deal. And you know us at the Retro Rescuers, we're cheap and we love a deal. Personally for myself, I haven't really found anything today that's on my checklist, but, but you, I did. you did. What did you find? I did. I, I, as soon as I looked in the cabinet, I saw these beautiful, pristine Powerpuff Girls Game Boy games. Three of them. Yeah, uh, what can you do for these three? Everything? For but, well, let's just say everything the three. for yeah. these three. Yeah. Um, so. Yep, you never see these games and you never see them all together, so to find them like this is pretty crazy. I'm so excited. Tell me. Three, 200. 200? <laughs> Didn't even need to. Look, I might sound like an absolute cheapskate, but 180, would you be okay with that? Um. I could do 180 for everything. We do? Oh, beautiful. Yay! All right. So, Powerpuff Girls basically did like a Pokemon thing. This one is Blossom, this one is Bubbles, and this one is Buttercup. 
so you can play as the different characters. But so it's essentially the same game. It's exactly the same game, except um, <laughs> the characters is different, but look how amazing yeah, they are. Yeah, they're real nice condition too. Yeah. The city of Townsville is in big trouble because of him. Get hardcore and help Bubbles rescue her friends in the third Powerpuff Girls game for Game Boy Color, Battle Him. Then check out CartoonNetwork.com or go to Babbage's, Funko Land, Software, etc. or GameStop to get the passwords and unlock hidden electronic trading cards. Collect all three Powerpuff games and discover the secret levels hidden in each game. Get Battle Him for Game Boy Color. Get the passwords at Babbage's, Funko Land, Software, etc. or GameStop and save the world before bedtime. Ready for everyone. So we've just come in here to get these Powerpuff Girls games and we've got a Disney fan over here and oh. we just picked this up from Savers so we're passing it on already oh sharing the love that's oh, excellent yes. she's already gone all right I told you so didn't even need to ship it oh well you win